Hey guys, Alex and Patrick here, and we're back out of the range with the Sphinx SDP Duty and the Sphinx SDP Standard. You know, this is the one I've been excited about for a long time. When I shoot a pistol, I generally want a full-size pistol because I shoot for recreation. I shoot at long distances. And back in the day, I used to shoot in competition, so I guess I'm more comfortable with a large gun. Um, Patrick and I both have the STP compacts. I believe you carry the STP yeah, compact. Yeah, I do. I do. I, I carry the, uh, the compact, and this is the Duty, which has got the full-size grip on it. You know, these are remarkably well-made pistols. The fit and finish is great. Um, like I said, I've always been looking forward to the full size to hit the market, and I'm glad it's finally getting there. So, yeah, no, I'm really excited to go ahead and get behind the, uh, the standard. This one's pretty cool, but that one's really got me excited. I'd say so. All right, let's get to shooting. Let's do it. All right, guys, so I'm going to give the SDP standard a go. Let's see how it goes in double action. Oh, God, that's good. <laughs> All right, Chris might not be getting this one back. All right, guys, now it's my turn with the STP standard. I'm going to try it one-handed as if I'm bullseye shooting. Really nice, great recoil impulse, feels tight. Um, it's like shooting a CZ-75 that's nice and tightened up. Everything I'd want out of a gun like this, realistically. Yeah, that one shoots just as good as the standard. But it's just a little bit more concealable with that shorter barrel for uh, short guys like myself. All right, guys, we're going to shoot both handguns side by side. See who's the better shot once and for all. <laughs> not a race. Oh. All right, guys. So between us, we probably have at least, what do you think, 4,000 rounds? Yeah, on probably. These uh, we both have the compacts. We really enjoy them, like we said. And I'm going to be honest with you. I really like the standard. Um, I wish they had some kind of trade-in program where I could trade up to the bigger pistol. But I'm yeah. just as happy having both. Um, yeah. No, I would be happy. I'm happy with having both. You know, I, I always want more guns. I want the subcompact, too. <laughs> sure. Um, I do like the tan coating on this gun as well. Uh, See, and I'm a fan of the classy black. Sure. Um, realistically, guys, these were fantastically accurate. We did some, some good shooting today, and uh, I shot fantastically with it. I was on no, point. I, yeah. That doesn't happen very often with me and pistols. I really have a love-hate relationship with handguns. Patrick shoots them a lot more, but I picked these guns up today, and I was just doing very well. That's all right. You know, I mean, I still won that uh, competition earlier. Whatever. Yes. Okay. Anyways. There's a race. But um, let's get real here. These are quality pistols. The STP standard. Um, look for it on the market soon. Um, I'll put the MSRP right here. Mm -hmm. And um, I'll put the MSRP of this guy right here. Yeah. I think they're uh, all about the same. Yeah. And uh, you should guys should take a look into getting one of these things. Or if you like CC75s, this just does everything better. I would equate the CC75 is maybe an off-the-line uh, Suburban. And these guns are definitely a Cadillac. Yes. Um, so with that said, we'd like to thank Ventura Munitions for helping us out with the ammunition costs in our videos, and we'd like to thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, it's Alex C. with TFB TV again. If you liked that video, why not do us a favor and check out our sponsor, Ventura Munitions. They really are a great company, and without them, videos like this one would not be possible. Click the link in the description, best place to buy ammo online.